okay, we've learned how to do calculations with reactions, but I've never bought anything by the mole before, and I've never bought any or sold anything by the mole. So in our business, we had silver. Now, we can sell things by mass, so let's see what happens if we have something odd. So let's say we had, in this case, 78 grams of copper. Well, I, the very first thing you need to know in order to work this problem is, I put a light X through that, you can't use that. Why? Because this is in moles, this is in moles, this is moles, this is moles. I can only work the problem in moles, so change it to moles. Now you'll notice I'm doing the math right under it. I said a while ago, we're going to keep columns. So I know where all my numbers go, grams to moles. Whenever I work problems, mole is always one. That'll never change. Grams are going to come off the chart. 63.5. we will make that a little more legible for you. 63.5 grams. Right off the chart. So I'm going to take 78 divided by 63.5. That's, oops, I did it wrong, I'm sorry. 78 divided by 63.5 is 1.23. 1.23 moles. Now, here's the question. Can I work the problem? Yes. Why? I'm in moles. So, 1.23 divided by 1 is a change of 1.23. So, if I take that change multiplied by all the other big numbers, I have the answers. So, 1.23 times 2 is 2.46. That answer would be 2.46 moles. This answer would be 1.23 moles because 1.23 times 1 is 1.23, and this is 2.46. Four six moles. And I can answer anything. All right? And so here's where I want you to try real quick. Okay? For you. Well, let's do this one together. Let's say that you and I had, we'll do one more together first. 120 grams of this. And we want to know everybody else. First thing, can't do that. 120 grams railroad track. Gram, mole. Mole is one. Now, is the 2 inside the formula? No. You'll notice I use different colors on purpose. So when I add off the chart, I'm going to use AgNO3. I am not going to use the 2. The 2 is not inside. So I have to add them together. Ag is 107. Nitrogen is 14. Oxygen is 16 times 3 is 48. So I'm going to add those together. If I did that too fast, pause the video and see what you get. When I add them together, I get 169. So that's 169 grams. So what I'm doing is I'm changing this grams to moles. So 120 divided by 169 is 0.71 moles. Now the question is, can I work? Can I work the problem? Absolutely, because I'm in the right units. The magic unit is moles. So 0.71 divided by 2. 0.71 divided by 2 is a change of 0 0.355. 0 0.355. Now I'm going to multiply everybody. 0 0.355 times 1 is 0.355 moles. Uh, that's 0.355 moles also. Why? Because they're both 1s. Okay? Let's say that was a 4. Then I would take this divided by 2 times 4, and I would have that answer. It's simple math. But it's a 1 this time, so it makes it easy. And so 0.71 divided by 2 times 2 is 0.71 moles. And I have every answer. But we said we're selling silver. Now, I've never sold anything by the mole, never bought anything by the mole. So what if they want grams? That's fine. I'm going to sell silver. I'm going to change moles back to grams. Now, am I going to use 169? No, 169 came from that. I'm going to use what this is. That's why I want to keep everything in columns. So what I'm going to do is figure out how many grams that is. And so AG is 107. Now I have a lot of people say things like this. Well, if I have 2 goes to 120, then 2 is going to go to 120. My answer is going to be 120. Well, let's see if it is. 0 0.71 times 107. 75.97 grams. That's the real answer. Well, if you looked at it, you would think 2 goes to 120, 2 goes to 120. That's not the answer. Why? Because that's moles, that's grams. So everybody has to be in the right same unit. So when you convert this to moles and do your math, then you get the right answer. So we're going to sell 75.97 grams of silver on the open market, and that's where we make our money. Now, could I calculate this in grams? Yes, I could. 
take a railroad track, add up Cu, one mole would go here, Cu, NO32, so that'd be two nitrogens, six oxygens, one copper, add that, put that there, multiply, I've got my answer. I could also get this one in grams if I needed it. One mole, grams for copper, 63.5. I can get any of them. I can work the problem in moles, and if I have to at the very end, convert the moles back to grams, convert the moles back to grams if I had to, convert the moles back to grams. In the next video, you're going to try one. I'm just going to give you a different formula other than this, and let's see how you do.